today i was in the mood to go thrifting i have been just like on a thrifting kick lately it's all i think about i can't get enough of it so it's a sunday i'm here with drew i'm here <laughs> and we're just gonna pop around and look for a few things we're actually going on a really exciting trip in a few weeks and we want to like hopefully look for some cool unique stuff maybe some vintage stuff i don't know we just pulled into saint vincent de paul which is near like downtown la and honestly it's very busy um, it's very very busy. It's a Sunday, so I'm a little nervous about that but We're just gonna go around and see what we can find. We were talking about this on the way here Drew was like, what are you looking for? What are you in the mood for? And I was like, I would love to find some skirts Some tops are definitely missing from my closet I always have like a wish list going on my phone of things that I want to thrift I kind of mentioned this in my Long Beach flea market thrift with me video But I would love to find like a leather bomber jacket. I would love to find some kind of varsity jacket I would love to find maybe like a red leather blazer a black Black slip dress there's a lot of different things but in the meantime i'm just open to whatever the thrift store wants to bring to me at least in my experience you can't really have too high of expectations you just sort of have to have an open mind so that's what we're gonna do you're sort of looking for like well really whatever aren't you <laughs> i don't have a plan <laughs> no plan we're just going balls to the wall so let's go inside and see what we can find oh, Okay, upon walking in, I already found two varsity jackets, so I feel like that's a good sign and we're on the right track. I'm gonna start in the men's department and we're gonna look through men's jackets first because that's usually where the gems are, so wish me luck. This leather blazer is amazing. It's in the men's department, but there's holes like all over the back of it. And they're asking $46. No, thank you. All right, that one was a little less successful. Next, we're gonna move into women's lingerie, and I'm hoping that I find a cute slip dress here, but we'll see. That is a tip that I learned from my friend Macy, or Blazed and Glazed, and it's something I do almost immediately when I go into every thrift store now, is go to the lingerie section, because you can find such cute dresses. So, we'll see. Is it weird that I kind of want this? A giant cowboy boot sleep shirt? Yeah. You're coming home with me. All right, so I found this cute little slip dress. Not even necessarily a slip dress. I think it's like a nightgown, but I don't like the bottom of it. And it's really see-through, but it is really pretty. I'm gonna leave this for someone else though. And then I found this one in this gorgeous burgundy color, but I think it's a little too big. It's a double XL, but I can already tell that like the V is too deep. It might be a little bit too short as well, but like look how pretty that is. with like a leather blazer and some boots. That would be so cute. I found this plain one, which could go underneath like another one. So I might have this just as like a backup to have for underneath black slip dresses in the future. I don't know, but it's like $6.99. So that feels a little bit high, so maybe. And then I found this one, which there's a bunch of. It's not like a slip dress per se, but there is a little bit of lace and I think it's really cute. So this might go in the cart as well. Not as successful as I would have wanted, but still some cute stuff. All right, next, since I'm already here, I'm gonna move over to the women's dresses. I'm looking for anything maxi right now. Like I'm really in a maxi phase of life. I'm in my maxi era, so anything maxi i am down for i love black i would love to find a maxi slip dress that's like wishful thinking but we'll see this dress is super cute it's very miss honey vibes i think there's like a little bit of a stain right here, but it's like vintage Coldwater Creek. <laughs> really 90s, really cute, very much Miss Honey, but 
not for me. I also found this dress, which looks really similar to a free people dress that I've been seeing everyone buy lately. It is a size small, so it's not my size, and I am not really in my burnt orange era as much anymore, but very cute. I actually found a couple of like granny things, but that remind me very much of what's on Lisa Says Ga right now and similar websites like that, like these sort of sustainable websites that are very, very expensive. Like this dress with some cowboy boots, like some white cowboy boots could actually be a look and I might consider getting it and trying it out for like spring and summer because it's $7.99, but it does say it's a size small. There's no tag on it. So I might have to like try it on and see, but it's just so funny because this would be like $250 on that website. And then also this, which looks like what, you know, my grandma used to wear or like my fourth grade teacher, but genuinely these are selling for so much money and it's like $12.99, which is really funny. To be determined on this one, we'll see. I mean, do I re-enter my 2018 90s style era with this? And it's in my size? I don't know, maybe it's meant to be. Okay, I actually scored in the dress section. I have so many dresses to go through in a little bit here. But next thing I'm gonna move on to the skirts. I would really love to find a white maxi skirt or a denim maxi skirt, similar like to the one I have on right now. This one is a black one, but I would love to find a denim one as well. So fingers crossed. Okay, I found this. This is more of a midi than a maxi, and it also says that it's a size 13, 14, which I think means it's junior, so I don't actually know if this will fit me. It's $5.99 though, so we're gonna try it on over my clothes and just see how it goes. I found this one, which you saw. I don't know how I feel about the trim on the bottom, and it is more of a midi as well, so we're gonna keep looking. That was so successful. Literally just going through the women's lingerie, dresses, and skirts. I found so much stuff. Like my little baby cart here is like almost full. Look at all of this. Drew found a couple pairs of pants as well. So we'll see how those work out. But in the meantime, I'm like, I've already got so much stuff. I don't want to end up with too much, but I'm going to take a look at women's pants next, maybe. Since we're right here and just kind of go through these and then maybe just take like one final lap before we go. Cause we've already been here for like 45 minutes. So I'm pushing my luck. These pants are kind of cute and it's by the brand Karen Scott too. Definitely love the vintage tag, but it says that these are an 18W, but I don't know if that's in vintage sizes, which would mean that it is my right size. And these are $8.99, so I really don't want to take off my skirt again and try. <laughs> these on but I might have to we'll see I found this London fog trench coat with a liner it's so cute it's in a size 12 I have one in a size 16 without the liner and I feel like this would probably fit me a lot better but it's literally $65 so that's gonna be a no from me but still very cute All right, as a last quick speed round, I'm gonna look through the women's tops and fingers crossed I find something in like the next five minutes because we gotta get back home to Layla, but I'm hopeful, it feels good. The vibes are very good so far, way better than the last video, so we'll see. The cruelest joke is that I'm finding so many cute vintage sweaters that just aren't my size. This one, so cute, size medium. This one, adorable size small and this one are you kidding this one hurts 
This one hurts deep. It's like way too small. I already tried it on, but ugh. Such a cute little cardigan. Devastated. Hope someone else enjoys it. I really love this varsity jacket like so so much but I saw the price tag on it and it's $150 so I'm gonna go with no on that one but I love it and I will miss it I will resist the urge to thrift another vest that I probably won't wear but this one is really really cute and also this one is definitely hand crocheted it is adorable but I'm gonna pass on it there's also this which is on my thrift wish list which I guess I could have thrifted two of the things on my wish list had I been willing to pay for this but this jacket is amazing but it's a size medium and it's like the type of leather bomber that I'm looking for but it's $75 and it's just not my size so I'm gonna have to let it go but I will dream about you goodbye all right, it's about an hour later. We're back home from the thrift store. I'm gonna wash and sanitize all of this stuff in a minute, but I wanted to show you what I got first. I really struck gold today. I tried on as much of this stuff on top of my clothes as I possibly could. So I'm really hoping that most of it works out for me because I'm trying not to like unnecessarily buy too many things and then end up with just a bunch of stuff that I need to like resell or donate or whatever. But I feel really good about this. So, okay, we're gonna start off with, I think the first thing that that I picked out, which is kind of random, but I will wear it to bed. And it is this sleep shirt. I showed it already. It's really fun. On this tag, it says that it's one size fits all. It definitely doesn't fit all, but I think it'll be fine. And just kind of fun, kind of gaudy, you know, my typical style. I'm, you know, half Arizonian, half Tennessean, you know what I mean? So it's like perfectly fitting in with like my hometowns and I love it. I think it's really cool. It's literally basically like a dress. So it's gonna be fun. It was $6.99, which is like a little bit expensive for a t-shirt for the thrift store, but some of these thrift store prices were kind of mind blowing. Like I was like, excuse me, you're charging how much? Next for a skirt, I did manage to find a skirt that I really liked. I had a bunch of them that you saw that I tried on and I'm really glad I did that because there were so many that I was like, oh, I'll just throw it in the cart, like I'll take it home. But it didn't end up fitting perfectly or it just wasn't exactly the look I was going for. So the one that I did decide to keep was $9.99. So again, kind of pricey. I feel like these prices have gone up since the last time I was at this thrift store. But anyway, it is this really cute, almost like slip style skirt that has some sort of side detailing. It's almost like a 90s kind of slinky material mixed with a slip material, but it is stretchy. There's no tag or brand or anything like that, but I thought that this would be fun with some taller boots. I'm really into the look of like a midi skirt with a tall boot. I think that's very cute. Yeah, $9.99, very simple, fit me great when I tried it on. So I'm excited to see how I can play around with that. Next, I I did end up getting this slip dress because I think I can make it work. There are adjustable straps. It's this really cute burgundy one. I am in love with this color. I think this color is so gorgeous. And I put it on like over my clothes and I actually think it could work for me. So it's in a size extra, extra large. I think I mentioned that before. I think I can make this work. Again, like how I mentioned with like a leather blazer over it, maybe some cowboy boots. This is like my ideal outfit. And it does actually have like the tiniest bit of stretch to it as well and like the super deep v with the lace like i just think this is so pretty i can't say no to a slip dress i have been hooked on slip dresses since like what 2019 or so and i love them this one actually the tag had fallen off and i couldn't tell how much it was and so usually at this thrift store specifically if there isn't a tag on something they will not sell it to you like they will make you put it away but this one i you know brought it up to the register and i was like hi sorry this doesn't have a tag on it it's okay if you can't sell it to me and she was like mm. She kind of looked at it and she was like, how about $4.99? And I was like, perfect. So $4.99 for this dress. Can't complain. Absolutely love it. And then this one, I'm going to tie it with another one that sort of looks like it for maybe my favorite find of the day. And this was $18.99, so definitely my most pricey. But it is this gorgeous sort of like peasant style dress that's kind of like midi-ish, I guess you could say. And it's this white material. It's got some sort of like swirly design on it. And I think it is so pretty. It's got a lining as well. So it's like not super duper see-through. I definitely will have to wear like skin colored undergarments with this. 
but I just thought this was so pretty. I don't know how it's gonna look on, but I have a vision. I was really inspired by my friend Karina Gomez. She has such cute outfits that she puts together and she recently wore like a white dress similar to this with some cute docks and like a cardigan and I definitely wanna recreate my own kind of version of that. I recently thrifted at the Goodwill bins, if you watched my video where I went thrifting at the Goodwill bins, I thrifted this really cool brown leather bomber jacket and I think that would look really cute with this as well, like sort of a masculine mixed with feminine type of vibe. So yeah, it was almost $20, but I think it's worth it. It's really cute. I still can't get over the fact that thrift stores are getting clothes donated to them for free and then selling them for like $20. Or I mean, I saw a varsity jacket that was $150, you know, kind of crazy to me. But anyways, that's another story. Then for this one, this is actually an Old Navy dress, but it looks like it's kind of an older Old Navy dress. And again, $16.99. Okay, you know, not my favorite, but it'll work. And this is more of a maxi. So it's kind of the similar style, but it's black and it has these sort of ever so noticeable polka dots. It's got a nice stretchy waist, but it's cinched, which I love. And then it's kind of got some tiering. So it's got like a bottom tier. And I just think this is so cute. This with like some red cowboy boots or white or any color, honestly, like I think would be such a cute outfit. So it's in a size large, but I think because of how stretchy it is, it's gonna fit fine. I love the little tie in the front and it's just a nice, simple, basic, like these two, this white one and black one, I feel like are going to be big staples for me coming up for spring. And it's kind of funny cause like filming this haul, it is still winter obviously when I'm filming this. So maybe that's why I'm gravitating towards like more neutrals and like darker shades. But really this stuff is gonna be great for spring, just not necessarily in the color palette that you you would think, but I'm also kind of gravitating towards neutrals more right now. So anyways, super happy to have both of these, even though they were a little more than I wanted to pay, I think it's okay. Next up for a fun one that I am so excited about, and I've actually had this on my list for a little while, like a good 90s maxi dress, and this is exactly what I was looking for. It's by the brand JBS Limited, and it's in a size 16, and it's just exactly what you would picture when you think of like a 90s maxi dress. I just find this to be so cute, and like the fact that it's my size is so amazing. I love the buttons down the front of it. Kind of towards the beginning, of the thrift with me when I was talking about like a Miss Honey dress. This is like a Miss Honey dress that I would actually wear right now. And it is funny because I mentioned in the earlier part of the video that it feels kind of like my 2018 style coming back. And I'm not opposed to that. First of all, my love for 90s fashion has never left, but it feels like we're inching back towards that with this. And I'm very happy about it. Next, I actually did decide to go home with this dress and this was $7.99. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. And it is like very, you know, know, interesting, like I mentioned, kind of could be considered kind of culty looking, but I think if it's styled the right way, it's gonna be really, really cute. I love that there are like little snaps on it that have maybe some kind of like opalescent kind of tint or something. And I love the color of it. I actually really like the top of it as well. I wouldn't wear it as a top, but like as a dress, it's so cute. I love that it's tiered at the bottom. And I think, you know what? I'm gonna make this work. At first I was like, is this one of those things that I'm like grabbing because I think it's gonna be cute but it's actually not. But I think I'm gonna set a challenge for myself to really wear this and make it work in an outfit and I'm very excited about it. Next we have another white dress and that comes as a surprise to no one. This is called Exist, never heard of that brand before and it says free size. So I guess that means just whoever but I loved how kind of funky this was at the bottom. It has sort of like a, not a high low cut but just a very like asymmetrical cut I guess you could say. And I love like the front detailing this kind of reminds me of a slip dress that I have that I thrifted. Maybe just like a different version of that because I love all of this detailing on the front. It's got some sort of like almost yarn type of material and it's just really, really pretty. I really like this one. I'm praying it fits like my bust and my shoulders. This may be a fail or it may be great. I have no idea. But again, just sort of picturing this with like a fun pair of boots, a cute jacket or a cardigan. There's so many fun ways to style this. It's literally a white dress. You can wear it on its own. You can wear it with so many different things and it's gonna be a staple no matter what. So love this one. And then last but not least, I did end up picking up this, again, similar to a slip dress, but not like a satin material. And it is this really cute V-neck, sort of again, like lace detailed dress. And this is just a normal like cotton material, I think. It doesn't actually say what the material 
is, but it's nice and stretchy. It's not super short, but it's not super long either. And this was only $5.99. It's considered sleepwear, so I think that's why it was less. Wearing this even just with like some cute sneakers and like a blazer over it would be adorable. Like there's just so many different options. And I've really gotten into the LBD lately, the little black dress. I never used to wear little black dresses. I would wear like floral dresses or puff sleeve dresses or whatever. And now I'm just finding so much joy in creating like so many different outfits out of very minimal amounts of pieces. So I think that's gonna be a really fun one to add into the mix. And yeah, that is what I got. I did spend $119. However, 18 of those dollars was Drew's pants. So we'll say $100 is what I spent. And I got like a freaking new wardrobe essentially. I was very happy. I could have spent like three more hours in that thrift store, but honestly, we were just popping in and had to head home. And I am so glad that I did it. I can't wait to style all of these pieces. Make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see how I end up styling them into outfits. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. Let me know what kind of thrifting content you wanna see in the comments below. I am just in a thrifting phase right now and I'm loving it. If you wanna see more of it, definitely let me know down below. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you all of my love and I will see you very soon in my next video.